Hey guys, I want to update you on the video that went up to today, 289. Um, the one where I used the Grumbacher iridescent uh, white, which I said, oh, that is totally pearlized. Well, let's see if I can, I mean, it is, it's not white, white. It is definitely pearly. Um, and this is the painting where I used just Brumbacher colors. And it was really pretty yesterday, but um, I think all the colors I used were much too dark. So I will probably paint over this unless someone is just dying to own it. Um, like I love this part. Um, but it's, it's altogether just much too dark for me. And actually, when I'm looking at it here through the camera, it seems brighter than it really is. And I don't know why, because it doesn't look that way. Must be the light reflecting, because in person, it's actually duller. It's usually the other way around. But I do like that iridescent, not for a background though. I don't, I don't like that look, but I like seeing it threaded through. So I just wanted to update you on that. Um, oh, and I also want to show you, hang on, I varnished a couple pieces. So I varnished this one, beautiful. This one, which I absolutely love. Oh my gosh, it is so cool. And this is that one that had the metallics in it and black and brown. That one's pretty cool. And then there's this one. And all of these are done with um, Liquitex uh, gloss varnish. And this looks, there, hold it in the light. Cause it's, this is way cool. I was just doing um, uh, resins on these, but I really like it with the just the gloss varnish and it makes it um whoops almost lost ya a little bit more affordable which is nice so but I really just wanted to update you on um on the iridescent so I will catch y'all next time bye